My name is Dr. Don Siegel, and I work at the Arizona Institute of Foot Care Physicians, and I've been a practicing podiatrist for 44 years. A stress fracture is a minimal break in the bone that occurs due to too much walking, too much working out at one time, and the bone loses its strength. Some of the symptoms of a stress fracture would be aching, burning, shooting pain in the foot, depending on what part of the foot it is, with causing you to limp. Well, you can usually tell fairly immediately within the first two or three days clinically, but you're not going to see anything on the x-ray until you see a shadow within seven to 10 days. Then you know that you probably had a stress fracture. The most susceptible bones in the foot are the metatarsals. Five of them right here, right behind the toes. And the most common area for stress fracture is the second and third metatarsals right around here, right in this area here. If you ignore a stress fracture, it be can become uh, a frank fracture. In other words, the two parts of the bone can actually separate. If you keep walking on the bone, it's going to actually separate and not align properly. Stress fracture, we use rice. Rest, ice, compression, and elevation. And we also would give the patient a walker boot that if it's on the right foot, however, they, they cannot drive with the walker boot, but they will wear the walker boot anywhere from, say, four to six weeks, and then we re-x-ray them to make sure, in a, about a month's time, to make sure the fracture is starting to heal. You have to stop and wait a few days and go back to exercise again. If it continues, then you have to go to see a podiatrist beyond the two to three days as I said before. Orthotics are also a very important part of it. It redistributes the weight and has and causes the muscles to fire in the proper sequence. And so the, the uh, weight is distributed equally within the foot. And the way, we, the way we make orthotics today is with a computer. And then we send it to a lab and it's evaluated there and the device is made at the lab. When you do have a stress fracture, you should wear a good supportive shoe with a firm counter. Firm counter. Uh, I like New Balance sneakers because they come in a width. That's one of the few sneakers that come in a width. I would say women who uh, have osteoporosis, or men, which is rare for, it's rare for men to have osteoporosis, but women who have osteoporosis definitely are more prone to it because their bones are thin. To, are thinning out, especially women around menopause time. That's when they might be prescribed hormones by their physician, by their OBGYN. Thank you for listening, and if you have any further questions, you can go to our website, azfeet.com, or call us on 480-834-8804. We're located in Mesa, right off the 60 Stapley Drive.